And also, aside from it never smelling or really looking good, I don't like the way I feel when I'm drunk and not in total control of myself. Because when I'm not in control, something like this next story is inevitably going to happen. A couple of years ago, I was at a destination wedding in Mexico and had about six or seven tequila shots. I had just recently learned how to properly drink tequila shots. The trick is to never taste it. To begin with, you have to drink Patron Silver because it's the cleanest and doesn't have the thick tequila taste. And after every shot, you chase it with pineapple juice. Yeah, the juice is so acidic and strong, it instantly kills the taste of tequila. And that's why someone like me, who never drinks, can do six or seven shots in one sitting. You're welcome for that tip, by the way. Just be careful. You already knew? No, I was thanking you for Oh, it. you're welcome. <laughs> See you out back afterwards. <laughs> At some point later in the night, sometime after my seven shots, so hard to know exactly when, the bride grabs my hand and takes me up to her hotel suite. She reaches into her bag and hands me a little white pill. Here, take this, she says as she downs hers. It's a Soma, muscle relaxer. Hey, I'm already wasted, of course, and so I think that a Soma sounds like a great idea. Within minutes, we decided... We need to get everyone, including the mother of the groom, in the ocean naked. Obviously, naked wedding ocean party! Yeah. We ran downstairs and corralled the whole wedding party out to the beach. It's Mexico, so the water was as warm as a bath. No excuse not to go in, right? I watched as everyone stripped down to nothing. Now, by the grace of God, I somehow did not get naked. I remember thinking that if I did, my then-boyfriend would be so angry with me, especially since there was like a lot of men around me that I didn't know. So I ran to the ocean fully dressed. Oh! Sorry, a fun fact about muscle relaxers, they relax the hell out of your muscles. Yeah, I guess when you're drunk and taking pills from a bride's purse, you don't really think about what that really means. Now, apparently it can be very dangerous to take a muscle relaxer. People have been known to break bones while using a relaxer because their muscles can't support them or something, I don't know. So think about that. Now, think about me. Seven shots of tequila in my body, and I'm on a muscle relaxer, and I'm swimming in the ocean at night, fully dressed. So I start doing... And so I start to do what anyone in those circumstances would do. I start to drown. I'm like flailing around, not able to control my arms or legs, and laughing hysterically. This is so funny. <laughs> With every gulp of ocean water, I accidentally swallow. Thankfully, my boyfriend is watching all this unfold, and he jumps into the ocean to save me. I remember hearing him scream my name and seeing him come for me, and then I remember thinking we had started a game of Marco Polo. <laughs> and so I began swimming away from him, deeper in the ocean. Marco! Olivia! Polo. You said today Polo. Okay, sorry. Marco! Olivia! Right? Good. So I began swimming away from him deeper into the ocean. I get to a point where I am literally beginning to drown. I can't stay afloat. Just then I feel an arm come around me to pull me back to shore. When we get back to the beach, I'm gasping for air and lying in the sand. We're both coughing up ocean water. As my boyfriend lies there in shock over how close I was to drowning, I bounce up and follow the maid of honor who screams for me to come take a shower. You heard that right. The maid of honor screams for me to take a shower. What's up? Uh -huh. With her. I'm taking a shower with her. Her implies a lady with lady parts. I also have lady parts. Note, uh, let me just say right now, you are about to be fully rewarded for buying this book. Right now. Sit with me for a second. <clears throat> I want to make sure I get this out right, because this is fucking good. <laughs> We're in the shower kissing and making out. At one point I put my hands on her chest to feel her breasts. She was a gorgeous girl with a great body, but she was really flat chested, which actually might have worked out in my favor. I started to feel her up and thought to myself as I touched her breasts, Oh! She's like a boy. <laughs> Not in a bad way at all, you know. Just remember, she was a gorgeous girl. She just had, like, very small breasts, felt like a guy. And since I'm not a lesbian, and I'm per pretty sure she isn't either, in that moment it was kind of comforting to find something familiar in the very not familiar situation. I'm sorry to have to tell you that my first lesbian foray ended quickly after we knocked over a champagne bottle that was sitting on a shelf in the shower, brought in, I'm assuming, for Olivia's first gay night of fun. Hey! <laughs> After it shattered all over the shower floor, we had to leave. How we were able to do that without cutting our feet wide open? Well, I can only guess that it was the power of same-sex love that carried me over the broken shards of glass. That's how I like to think of it. The last thing I remember is pulling out shorts and a t-shirt for her to wear and saying goodnight. I don't remember falling asleep or changing into pajamas or anything. 
My boyfriend said he came in the room right after our shower. Oh, too slow, sorry. <laughs> and helped me into bed. But for some reason, and maybe it was a dream, I remember things a little differently. Or maybe it's because I was writing a book and didn't want to print forever. Hmm. <laughs> but since I'll never know for sure, or will I, let me leave it for all of you to decide. What do you think happened after I made out with the maid of honor, broke a champagne bottle, and gave her some dry clothes to wear? Did we A, fall asleep, B, go to her room to finish what we started, C, had an orgy with her husband and my boyfriend, C, or D, go back to the ocean and almost drown again. Maybe one day I'll tell everyone what I think really happened. Sorry. Maybe one day I'll tell everyone what I know really happened. Maybe I'll put it in the next book. Thank you. Uh, now I don't have time for signing, so uh, just take pictures now. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what happens now. You follow up? Oh, and I'm going home. Bye, thanks for me.